With modern shows like The Bachelor, Love Island, and Big Brother, it's no secret that society has a fascination for celebrities. But what was the deal with celebrity obsession before social media? Clearly no one was live tweeting or binge watching. So how did celebrities get famous? Before social media, people spread rumors by mouth. And while they didn't spread as fast as today, most people found out eventually. Today, we're going to take a look back at some of the most popular old Hollywood movies where the stars got caught hooking up. Cleopatra Cleopatra is a classic film that encaptures one of the most famous affairs of all time between Cleopatra and her Roman love, Mark Anthony. The movie aired in 1963 and made waves in the Hollywood community. Actress Elizabeth Taylor starred as Cleopatra, while Richard Burton played the love interest. The actors met while shooting promotions for the movie before production began. Burton complimented Taylor on her appearance during the photo shoot and reportedly made her blush, while everyone else within earshot rolled their eyes. At the time of filming, Taylor was married to Eddie Fisher, and Burton was married to Sybil Williams. At first, the acting duo appeared to dislike each other, but that soon changed. While filming their first on-screen kiss, the directors had cut numerous times before the pair actually finished kissing. Word on set quickly spread that the pair had more than just an on-screen romance. Eventually, the whole world knew about the couple, so they would no longer have to keep their love a secret. Taylor and Burton both divorced their respective partners and married each other. Taylor soon became addicted to prescription pills, while Burton was a raging alcoholic. The pair divorced only to get married once more. As they both spiraled out of control, their relationship hit rock bottom, and they divorced for good. To have and have not in the 1944 romance adventure film titled To Have and Have Not, Humphrey Bogart played the main role with his co-star Lauren Bacall. At the time, Lauren was only 19 and acting in her first film role. Humphrey was 44 and married. No one would have ever expected the couple to pair up, but everyone on set could feel the romance brewing from the first moment they spent together on set. Throughout the movie, their chemistry was visible through the screen. Surprisingly enough, Bogart divorced his wife and married Lauren Bacall. They had a child together and named him after Bogart's character, Stephen, in the film. The couple stayed together until Bogart passed away 13 years later. Woman of the Year Woman of the Year was released in 1942. It starred Katherine Hepburn and Spencer Tracy. The pair originally met when they sat down for lunch to discuss their roles in the upcoming film. Apparently, the first thing Hepburn ever said to Tracy was she believed herself to be too tall for him. On and off screen, the pair had a very flirtatious and playful relationship. They're known for having one of the most scandalous affairs of all time. After all, Spencer Tracy was married for the entirety of the time he was with Hepburn. For decades, the secret couple had lunches together in their dressing rooms and snuck away to quote-unquote rehearse. Even when they weren't starring in films together, they made up excuses to be around each other. Even though each of them were married or partnered to others, they never let up on their scandalous affair. Flesh and the Devil John Gilbert was best known for his roles in silent films on the silver screen. He often gazed at beautiful women with his large eyes. His co-star Greta Garbo was known for her stunning beauty. The couple was first paired together on screen when they starred in the 1926 romance called Flesh and the Devil. Apparently, during the shooting of the first love scene, their attraction to each other was so intense and intimate, the director was afraid to interrupt. Though Gilbert was in the middle of a gruesome divorce, he still proposed to Garbo. Garbo accepted his initial proposal but never showed up to the wedding. Determined, Gilbert made several more proposal attempts and was rejected each time. Though they starred in several more movies together, they never got married. Gilbert passed away from alcoholism when he was only 36, and Garbo never married anyone. Hey, if you're enjoying this video so far, be sure to give it a like and subscribe to Facts First for more. Hot Saturday Hot Saturday came out in theaters in 1932. Cary Grant met his co-star Randolph Scott on set, where they each played men going after the same woman. Though they disliked each other on screen, these two gentlemen were closer than usual off set. Apparently, the two men would take women out on dates, drop off the women at home, and continue to go out on the town, just the two of them. Eventually, the men moved into a large mansion they named Bachelor Hall. Though the only evidence of a relationship between the men were some mild photos of them living together, gossip made its way around town until it was a full-blown scandal. They both went on to marry several women, but stayed close friends for the remainder of their lives. Cuban Rebel Girls Cuban Rebel Girls is famous for some reasons that might not first come to mind. 
The main reason the film has so much name recognition is due to the fact it was the worst movie actor Errol Flynn ever made, as well as his last. Not to mention, Flynn was getting together with his 15-year-old co-star at the time. Flynn saw Beverly Adland nearby his filming set when he had a gut feeling she'd fit the role needed for his film. Flynn proceeded to take her virginity and continue sleeping with the young girl while filming on set. He claimed the couple had a plan to marry and have children, but things fell short when years of substance abuse caught up to Flynn. He passed away from a heart attack before the film was released and before he got to marry his child bride. Possessed Some couples were just meant to be together despite all the circumstances. Joan Crawford was a Hollywood big shot who eventually ended up starring in eight films with her love, Clark Gable. In an interview, Joan recalled there was an immediate attraction between the two when they met. Joan saw what she wanted in Clark, and Clark saw the same in Joan. There was one small problem. They were married to other people. They starred together in the 1931 film Possessed, and the film sealed their bond together. No one in Hollywood denied that the pair of actors were hooking up off-screen, and certainly almost everyone loved the drama besides their spouses. The head of the MGM studio was displeased about the affair, but couldn't say much since he was making money off the duo time and time again. Some like it hot. Following the trend of many of their peers, Tony Curtis and Marilyn Monroe had an affair while filming Some Like It Hot. Yet again, another pair of married actors were cheating on their spouses with one another. Curtis recalled his time with Marilyn as mysterious, for she was always playing a part, so he was never quite sure what she was thinking. He even claims Monroe was pregnant with his child before she miscarried soon after. When asked what it was like to kiss Marilyn Monroe, Curtis told the press it was like kissing Hitler. This quote was blown out of proportion when Curtis simply meant it to be sarcastic. Louisa the movie called Louisa caused a lot of drama in Hollywood. Unlike many of the movies we've discussed, this tale includes a past president with a famous name. The actress Piper Laurie was just 18 years old and living with her parents when she landed her first film gig. Laurie was cast to play the part of President Ronald Reagan's 16-year-old daughter. At the time, Reagan had just divorced his wife, Jane Wyman, and was casually dating around town. When Reagan met Piper Laurie, he was immediately smitten. Years after the movie was released, Piper wrote a memoir called Learning to Live Out Loud. In her work, Piper describes the time Reagan invited her to his home, cooked her a meal, and took her virginity without hesitation. Following the encounter with the soon-to-be president, Laurie recalled he was insensitive and had no manners between the sheets. Piper Laurie went on to receive three Oscar nominations over the span of her acting career. Now it's time to hear from you. Which on-screen romance do you think was the most scandalous? Let us know in the comments section below. And before you go, make sure you give this video a like and subscribe to Factsverse if you haven't already. Click the bell icon to stay updated on all our latest content.